Have you just installed your brand new LED headlight bulbs and notice that the beam pattern is absolutely terrible? Well, today I'm gonna to demonstrate how to adjust the top brand bulbs on the market. I'm also gonna talk about the importance of having a proper beam pattern. Let's go ahead and get to work. So let's first start with a halogen bulb. As you might notice here, on the inside, there's a wire wound filament, and this bulb also has the ability to produce 360 degrees of light. If you notice one thing in particular about all of these LED bulbs, is they only have the LED chips on two sides. So whenever you get it installed, you'll want to install the LED chips at nine and three o'clock. Let's take a look at this Dodge Ram headlight here. You might notice that the reflectors inside of there on the low beam, which is right here, are more prevalent going horizontally. If you install the bulb up and down, instead of that light shining off of all of those reflectors, it's gonna be shining off the chrome inside there and it's gonna produce a terrible beam pattern. That's why it's so important. So now I'm gonna show you how to adjust these LED headlight bulbs. Let's go ahead and start with the SV4. With the SV4, it'll come with an Allen key right out of the box. And then there's also an Allen screw right here on the bulb. All you gotta do is loosen it up. And then you can twist the collar to wherever it needs to go. The Dial Dynamics SL1 is very similar. Instead of using the Allen key, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. The process is the exact same though. You find the hole, you loosen the screw, you loosen the collar. But don't forget to tighten it back down. The Xenon Depot bulb is the same way. The GTR Lighting CSP Mini bulb is slightly different. Still, we'll be using an Allen key, but instead of adjusting the collar, you'll be adjusting the bulb itself. As you can see here, it's fully 360 degrees clockable. Now my personal favorite is the Morimoto Two Stroke 2.0. No tools needed, all you'll need are your two bare hands. Now what you do, is you go ahead and install the bulb right away, and then from there it's all a pressure fit. So you simply just rotate the bulb until it's at its optimal location, which will be that nine and three o'clock. As you can see here, we have the Morimoto Two Stroke bulb fully properly installed. Now I kind of want to show you what it'll look like if it's installed improperly. So let's go ahead and twist the bulb ever so slightly, to put it at an angle. Now that's not too bad of an angle. The beam pattern might not be too terrible, but it's still not going to be usable. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate what it'll look like when it looks up and down. Now as you can see, this beam pattern is absolutely terrible. And this is actually a very common way to install an LED headlight bulb and you absolutely do not want to do this. So let's go ahead and kick this back to the proper nine and three degrees. This is how a good beam pattern should look. As you can see, it's a very nice, crisp, condensed beam pattern, and this is exactly what you're looking for. So now you know how to adjust your LED headlight bulb. Thank you so much for watching, and if you would like to see more installation videos or tech tips, don't forget to like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.